Hi, I'm Paul Rhodes, owner and founder of Paul Rhodes Bakery in Greenwich. I won Baker of the Year uh, 2018. I'm Mark Bennett and I'm the founder of Patisserie Mark Bennett. I won Baker of the Year back in 2014. I'm Alex Gooch uh, and I'm a baker from the Welsh Borders. I won, it, won Baker of the Year in 2015. What we're looking for when judging Baker of the Year is a baker that shows a real dedication to the industry. They've got to be passionate about what they do, they've got to create quality products and be consistent with creating quality products. We're looking for a baker, not a bakery, so this is about the individual and not the business. They may well work within a team of bakers um, or they might be a head baker within their own business or part of an MPD team within an industrial facility. I think it's all about timing and it was my time to uh, be recognised for the 15 years of hard work that I've put in and satisfaction and to share something with, with you know, everyone that I work with. Um, I th it seemed like an interesting competition, it's got a big profile um, and uh, yeah it's always good for business to, to try and win prizes. Uh, I entered Baker of the Year, uh, I bought a new retard approver off of Brook Foods uh, and when they sent me the invoice um, they happened to pop in uh, with the invoice uh, an entry form and that's basically how I entered. Previous winners have demonstrated that they're passionate about the industry, they've shown a real dedication to what they do. I think I won because um, yeah, I, I believe, you know, you put in, you get out, and I've definitely put in in the last 15 years. Um, it was just about time that I had some recognition for what I've achieved. Um, it was me more or less on my own in the bakery, you know, it was very long hours. Uh, don't know, very big focus on ingredients I've always had. It's uh, quality of ingredients, quality of everything, the flour and everything that we use. So I think that helped. When I entered Baker of the Year, I, I had no clue that I would end up winning it. Um, I thought I stood a good chance because I had such a, I suppose, quite a, a good pedigree behind me. Obviously, I'd entered a lot of competitions throughout the years. When my name was read out and I won, I was just ecstatic. Yeah, I was absolutely uh, just amazed. But it was the pinnacle of my career. The benefits, I think, sharing it with internally and externally but obviously with your customers and I think it's just another kind of bond. We've done so much work over the last three to four years um, breaking the business down, rebuilding. This is just really kind of the cherry on the cake um, as far as recognition and um, it's hard to measure exactly what what benefits are but I think as a whole we've definitely you know had good growth, good feedback, good products so yeah. Yeah it's been a lot of publicity it just gets your name out there a bit more, so it's good for business, makes people more aware of you. So no, it's been really good. It's brought the business a huge amount of um, publicity, which is important for business. Um, you know, since, since winning it, yeah, I, the business has just gone from strength to strength, so... The Baker of the Year category is unique. It focuses on the individual rather than the bakery business itself. So if you're passionate about the industry, you create a quality product and you're dedicated to the industry, you should enter.